is that? Stone men. Don't let them touch you! Stone men suffer from grayscale. It's the same disease that Shireen had as a baby, which disfigured her face. Shireen was presented with a gift, and it was infected with grayscale, but they managed to stop it from spreading any further than her cheek. It calcifies the skin, and basically it turns it to stone. It hardens, turns gray, and if it affects the brain at all, it also brings with it madness. It's sort of like a very vicious form of leprosy, highly contagious. They're human beings, and yet they're terrifying, and if they touch you, you're gonna turn into one of them. We had Shireen's look to kind of go from. We knew it was gonna to have to be this incredibly extreme version of it. To apply the head and shoulders is about a four hour process. They're covered in silicon rubber prosthetics. We looked at sort of different textures, elephant skins, sort of cracked riverbeds. So we had a kind of stony sort of uh, rock sort of look to it. It's almost like wearing a wetsuit, but on your face constantly. It's quite uncomfortable, I'm not gonna lie. When people start to uh, succumb to grayscale, they're taken off to Valeria because no one else lives there. Valeria was a complete invention from the bottom up. You have descriptions from the book and from the script, but you have a lot of opportunity to create something special and something new. What we were able to do is build our polystyrene elements onto that existing bridge as though the stone men were within an arch of this much larger aqueduct. And what it meant was that Tyrion and Jorah were able to be on a boat traveling down this river and past the stone men in real time. In terms of the stunt men, um, you know, they're really game for everything. When we come up into our positions, it's, all, it's really slow motion, and then we sort of obviously go into the attack. They had to measure out specifically not only how far we needed to jump, but also the depth. We had the canal dredged, so it was seven feet deep, so we could do like the 21 foot jump. For the jump into the boat, we, we put truss across the bridge, and the stunt guy hung off the truss and jumped into the boat for the landing. The boat was only 15 feet by about five feet wide, and we got two actors in there. It was inc incredibly claustrophobic, and there's a, there's a terrible fear of them uh, touching you, so they're quite difficult to combat. A fight scene on a small boat is very tricky. Basically, you're trapped on this boat, and you're being attacked, and there's nowhere to go. There's a disused swimming pool, which we're converting into a water tank, and we're gonna hold Peter in the water, and then one of my stunt guys is gonna be weighted and on the bottom. And he grabs his ankle, and he struggles, and then that's the last thing we see. It was a very complex sequence to kind of figure out exactly how to treat it and how to make it work. And it was, it was really, it was one of the most all-hands-on-deck sequences that, that we had to shoot.